long. And then yesterday you were supposed to plan your event, your setting with the place and time. You were supposed to fill in all of these boxes, which I didn't fill them all in because I'm not a student. But you were supposed to fill in all of these boxes. Then I will unlock the draft page for you. And you will start your rough draft. Now, you'll have to think of a title for your extreme weather fiction. You'll put in your first name, last name, and start typing your rough draft. Or if you're using your black writing notebook, start writing your rough draft. The first paragraph needs to have the setting and characters. Where and when did this happen? Who's in the story with you? Introduce if you're with your mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever. Then tell the story in chronological order. Did your family hear the tornado, hurricane, or blizzard warning on the radio or the television? Then what did you do to prepare for the extreme weather? Then what happened first, next, last, after that? You have three days to do your rough draft. You have today, tomorrow, and Friday. So I won't give you new writing lessons tomorrow or Friday. It's to do your entire rough draft of your extreme weather fiction. Tell it in chronological order. Use lots of details. Go back to your planning to see what you smelled, felt, tasted, heard, saw, and your conclusion that you chose. That is your writing lesson for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, April 22nd, 23rd, 24th.